Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameDube, and welcome back to our Poppy Playtime character concept series. So the character we've created for today's video is called Peaceful Pigeon. So we'll go into this character's backstory, gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff as well. But before we do any of that, do be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with all the videos that we post. Alrighty, well, let's get into the character concept of Peaceful Pigeon. So previously in our Poppy Playtime character concept series, we've been looking into the new and improved smiling critters. This new batch of cuddly toys were known as the Joyful Critters. These Joyful Critters were much more advanced and superior in every way. But how the Playtime Co. Factory engineered these advanced toys was very cruel and evil to say the least. Each toy went through a soul transferal process to ensure that they would be as lifelike as possible. These poor souls were that of the Playcare Orphans and the toy bodies they inhabited were as listed. Fun Fox, Koala Crybear, Angry Ant Eater, and Fearful Frog. The traits and personalities of these orphan souls directly affected the Joyful Critter toys, and that was the reason why this toy line was based on different emotions. So day after day, the Joyful Critters were subjected to these cruel procedures in order to manufacture their toy versions but eventually they broke free and got their revenge on all the Playtime Co. workers. It didn't even matter if some of these workers weren't even involved in this horrible process. If they were wearing a Playtime Co. uniform, they were as good as gone. Eventually, there was no one left in the transferal facility, and the Joyful Critters made this area their new home. But now that the player has snuck into their home, they will stop at nothing to destroy them. After each encounter, the player has just barely gotten away. But now they're at the end of this facility and one more Joyful Critter is waiting in the shadows. And sooner or later, they'll make their presence known to the player. So now let's introduce this new character. And our next Joyful Critter character is known as Peaceful Pigeon. So as the name suggests, this character is quite peaceful and calm. He's known to be an overly relaxed character and was non-threatening to the workers. Peaceful Pigeon always chose to be peaceful. He'd never resort to violence or fighting of any sort, but this peaceful nature would eventually come to an end. Peaceful Pigeon. Breathe in and breathe out. Stay calm and collected. Fighting is never the answer. Always choose peace. Scent Plum. So like we said, this peaceful nature couldn't last forever. With the awful things that Playtime Co. were doing, it would nearly be impossible to remain peaceful. And that's exactly what happened to Peaceful Pigeon. Just like all the other toys, he was also subjected to the evil process of making the toys. Bit by bit, his soul and sanity were being drip-fed into each and every toy. But throughout the process, he remained peaceful and non-threatening. Even though the workers were being so cruel, Peaceful Pigeon just went along with the process. Even when the Joyful Critters broke free and attacked everyone, he stayed out of it altogether. He didn't see any sense in fighting or being aggressive. He believed that all this senseless violence would lead to nowhere. And as horrible as the toy making process was for all the Joyful Critters, Peaceful Pigeon found at least one positive out of the situation. They all suffered so much in order to make others happy. The toys that they made would bring so much joy to children all over the world. A little piece of them would reside in the toy that some child would love and call their best friend. This fact is what made him so peaceful and calm. He knew that all of this suffering was going towards something positive, but unfortunately, this just wasn't the case. After all the workers were gone, Peaceful Pigeon was free to roam around the facility as he pleased, and what he stumbled upon changed everything. What he saw were piles of discarded Joyful Critter toys. All the characters were here. They were all discarded in these large piles. But what was going on? Weren't these toys meant to be shipped out all over the world? Why were they just dumped in this disposal room? Then it suddenly dawned on Peaceful Pigeon. Playtime Co. never intended on shipping these toys out to the stores. The company didn't see much of a reason to stock the shelves after the whole catnap recall debacle. They decided to just move on with something entirely different. So all of this was for nothing? All the suffering that he and his friends endured was to be thrown away and forgotten about. If the workers knew, then why did they keep doing this? The only small sense of positivity that Peaceful Pigeon held onto suddenly crumbled right in front of him. He could never forgive Playtime Co. for what they had done, 
and it was at this moment that he was no longer peaceful anymore. Peace was no longer an option. If he catches any Playtime co-workers in his sight, he would surely destroy them. And luckily for Peaceful Pigeon, the player was once a worker, and soon he'd get to meet them face to face. So speaking of, we now return back to the player. They've finally located the exit and are ready to escape this nightmare once and for all. They've needed to find four electric fuses to place inside the door's control switch. They've already found three, and now they're just looking for the last one. It has to be around here somewhere, they just need to look for it. Eventually, after searching around, they locate the final fuse. As they go to reach for it, Peaceful Pigeon crashes down from the ceiling. He stares at the player with hate and rage in his eyes. He wants to make the player pay for what their past co-workers did to him and his friends. Of course, the player wasn't involved in this horrible process, but that didn't matter to Peaceful Pigeon. The player quickly grabs the fuse and makes a run back towards the door. Peaceful Pigeon lets out a loud cry and chases after them. It was almost like that cry was to alert all the other joyful critters. And it turns out that's exactly what happened. One by one, each of the other joyful critters joined the chase. They would burst out of doors and hallways and try to lunge towards the player. Now it was Koala Crybear, Angry Ant Eater, Peaceful Pigeon, and Fun Fox that were now chasing them. They just needed to reach the door and open it with the last fuse. With all these ferocious critters on their tail, this chase was more dangerous than ever. One slip up and it would all be over for the player. But finally, they open the exit and rush through. The only thing is, there wasn't any switch to close the door on the other side. Any second now, these angry critters would rush through and end the player. But suddenly, Fearful Frog bursts through the vent above the fuse switch. He takes out one of the fuses and the door slams shut. Now, all of these vicious joyful critters stand there and stare at the player. Each of them knows that they let the player slip right through their fingers. With this reinforced ballistic glass between them, there wasn't much they could do. Now, all they can do is stand there defeated. The player had nothing to do with their horrible time here at the factory, but they can understand the resentment that these joyful critters feel regardless. The factory was pure evil and none of the toys here deserved any of this. And that's why the player needs to set things right. They continue their mission to find Poppy and help her defeat the prototype. Hopefully, nothing else gets in their way, but when it comes to this evil factory, nothing is certain. So I think that Peaceful Pigeon would be a great last addition to our Joyful Critters roster of characters. I think that the idea of Peaceful Pigeon would be quite interesting as well. The fact that he tried to be a peaceful character is quite sad when he finds out the real truth. The story of the Joyful Critters is definitely a tragic one as well. It proves how evil the Playtime Co. factory truly is and what they won't do to the poor souls who reside here. And he's hoping our player can make things right for all of these poor toys in the end. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please consider leaving a like, commenting and subscribing as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let me know what you thought of Peaceful Pigeon and also this chapter as a whole in the comments down below. And lastly, I just want to give a thank you to all the viewers who tuned in to this episode and all the other episodes as well in this chapter. It means a lot that you watch our videos week after week and we really appreciate it. But alrighty, until our next Poppy Playtime character concept series, I'll catch you later. Bye.